Greetings! This is Sarah Canary, a technical writer on the documentation team at cPanel. To send and receive email, you have to have an email account. cPanel makes it easy to set up email accounts on your website. This video tutorial will give you the basics on how to create and manage email accounts in cPanel. Let's go ahead and log in to cPanel. Here we are in the cPanel home interface, and let's scroll down to the email group, and then click the email accounts icon. The email accounts interface will appear. At the top of the interface, you can add an email account. Below that, you'll see a list of existing email accounts that you can manage. Let's add an email account first. In the email text box, Enter the email address that you wish to create. I'm going to create an email account for someone named Malcolm. If you manage more than one domain, make sure to select the appropriate domain from the domain menu. If you only have one domain on your cPanel account, you won't see this menu. I'm making this email address on example.com. Enter the password in the password text box, and then confirm the password in the password again text box. The strength bar shows you the relative strength of the password that you entered. You can click Password Generator to have the system generate a strong password for you. Click Advanced Options to configure other options – minimum password length, uppercase letters, numbers, or symbols. If your company uses corporate password standards, make sure that you get these settings right to comply with those requirements. Copy the password into a safe place select the checkbox, and then click Use Password. Enter the size of the mailbox quota. This is how much mail and attachments the mailbox can store, measured in megabytes. You can set a value from 15 megabytes to 1500 megabytes, or you can select Unlimited. Click Create Account to create the email account. There you go, the account has been created. Once the account exists, you may want to make changes to the account. Let's say you forgot your email password. Click Change Password next to the appropriate email account. Enter your new password into the Password text box, and then confirm your new password in the Password Again text box. Once again, you can click Password Generator to have a strong password generated for you. Click Change Password to save the new password. There we go! the password has changed. To change an email account's mailbox quota, click Change Quota next to the appropriate email account. Enter a new email quota in megabytes in the Mailbox Quota text box. Or, for an unlimited quota, select Unlimited. Click Change Quota to save the new value, and you'll see a confirmation message. To delete an email account, click Delete next to the appropriate email account. Then, Click Delete again to permanently delete the email account. Sorry Malcolm, no email for you. Now that you've created an email account, let's automatically configure an email client to access your email. cPanel makes it easy to configure an email client for your computer, tablet, or other mobile devices. Click Configure Mail Client for the email address that you want to configure. A new window will appear. It may help to understand a few terms you'll see here. POP3 downloads your email to your computer, IMAP keeps your email stored on the server, and SSL is an encryption method that helps keep your mail secure. Click a link that corresponds to your mail application, such as Outlook or MacMail. Then run the script file to automatically configure the email account. If you don't see your mail client listed, or if you'd like to set your mail client up manually, scroll down to Manual Settings. Enter these settings into your mail client during its setup process. For more information about cPanel, go to cPanel.com or follow at cPanel on Twitter. Thank you for watching, and happy automating!